Supercapacitors can have thousands of times higher capacitance compared to its little cousins, like this little thousand microfarad can. Just like supercaps, they store electrical energy between two plates and can release it really quickly. One huge advantage that they have over batteries. That kind of rapid energy transfer in a battery can do some serious damage to some chemistries. So why doesn't your phone use standard capacitors instead of batteries? There's two main reasons. They're not as energy dense and their output voltage drops off exponentially as they discharge according to this equation. Supercapacitors sit in the middle. Loads of stored electrical energy at a low voltage and the option to get rid of it really fast. They usually come in this can shape, but what if I told you we could go flatter? These are Ligna ultra thin supercapacitors, 60 millifarad and 1.2 farads, both rated to 2.7 volts of sweet, sweet DC, all under half a millimeter thick. Now, you might already be in the comments, mate, what's wrong with the can style? They come in loads of voltages and capacitance, and you'd be absolutely correct. But I'll tell you what, this can go places that that cannot. It's time to open your mind to ultra thin electronics, ones that can even bend. The most undeniable application is smart cards. Cards with displays, biometric authentication, better cryptography and reconfigurable access control. Imagine a bank card that shows your spending balance and a fingerprint scanner to make sure it's really you at checkout. Well, how about reconfigurable hotel keys? They display your room number, checkout time, maybe even a do not disturb button will fall into the card. A smart card, just like your bank card, is powered only momentarily from a reader, which receives data and power through inductive coupling. That's what that little ring antenna is for that you see inside of your card when you hold it up to a light. And while you're there, check the 16 funny numbers in the expiry date in the comments below. Only when your card is near a machine will it ever be turned on because it doesn't have an internal battery, but that can change. For all the cases I just mentioned, you need power available away from receivers. Anytime you need an action or communication that's in a smart card when it's not being inductively powered, that's where these shine. Your traditional lithium cell sure as hell won't fit. I'll tell you what, these super caps will not either. Applications like these are made possible by ultra thin supercapacitors by Ligna. Believe it or not, I haven't even told you the best part yet. Unlike those lithium ion cells or aluminium electrolytic capacitors, these aren't flammable and they're not made with toxic chemicals. That's a big deal when that device, like a smart card, is sitting in your wallet or against your skin. Trust me, you do not want something chemically unstable down there. I'm watching the power. Here's another bonus. They're environmentally friendly, like really environmentally friendly. Ligna uses a waste product from the forestry industry called Lignum to make the active cathode material inside of these super caps. That means easy recycling after decades of use. Now, let's be honest, we're all scientists and engineers here, so don't take my word for it. Find links down below to evaluate these ultra thin supercapacitors and prove the function for yourself. Stay disruptive.